Hey, good morning and welcome to Noah's Window. Mary Alice and I are taping this during the time that we're taking off. We're doing some traveling. And one of the places that we're visiting is My Family Cemetery. I think I mentioned this on Easter. Uh, Hoover's Valley Cemetery has been around for about 170 years. It all started when a great, 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 great uncle of mine named Isaac Hoover came to Texas. And he was a dreamer. He had a dream of starting a community, starting a church and starting a school. And he settled here in this valley about 50 miles west of Austin. And he was successful. He started a great church, uh, a great school, and a lot of families came to join the community. Well, like so many small country towns, time has passed. And now this is considered a ghost town, Hoover's Valley, that is. Although you can, set, you can tell by the landscape, it's a very beautiful place. And we're surrounded by resort communities. Right behind me is the Colorado River. There's the Buchanan uh, Lake over here and Inks Lake and, and at Lake LBJ. And so even though there's not really a community per se, uh, there's high-end real estate and wineries and a whole lot of things right around here. But nestled right in the middle is, is our family cemetery. And I've been coming out here since I was a little boy. I think when I was very, very small, we had the service for my great-grandmother. And just last November, we had my mother's committal service. My mom and dad, their human bodies are buried right over here. And so many other members of my family. Now, why are we taking seven or eight days of Noah's window and shooting it in a place, well, a cemetery? Well, Mary Alice and I have felt on this trip that we would like to leave you with seven reasons why you don't have to be afraid of dying. I preached a message several years ago called Top 10 Reasons You Don't Have to Be Afraid of Dying, but we're reducing that down to seven. Now, somebody could say, well, Mark, I'm not really sure I want to watch Noah's window for seven or eight days if we're going to talk about dying. And that's just the thing. We're not talking about dying. We're talking about living. Because you see, what Jesus did was he took the sting out of death so that we don't have to be afraid of dying, so that we could live without being afraid of dying. You know, having dealt with anxiety all my life, I've, I've tried to understand it. And one of the things that I've gotten clear on over the years is oftentimes what is behind our day-to-day -day anxieties is the specter of looming death. Well, the Word of God tells us this in the book of Hebrews chapters, uh, chapter 2, verses 14 and 15, that when Jesus came into our world, he defeated the devil who had the power of death. And then in verse 15, it says, he freed us who all of our lives were slaves to the fear of dying. See, God doesn't want us living like slaves to the fear of dying. He wants to take the shackles off so that we can live all out. So we're going to be sharing with you the top seven reasons why you don't have to be afraid of dying. We'll be back tomorrow with, well, we'll be back tomorrow with the first of these. Let's have a moment of prayer before we begin. Father God, I pray for these next seven days that you'll make it very clear that we don't have to be afraid of dying. And that we can live all out knowing that we have the peace of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, I'll be back tomorrow to share the first of the top seven reasons you don't have to be afraid of dying. I should also tell you, I'm going to share some stories that came out of the lives of people whose lives are memorialized here. There will be some from my family. And there's a very famous story from Texas history. And I'll be back to share some of these starting tomorrow. See you soon.